I mean, it, it was tough, like kind of stop starting, but it wasn't wasn't too bad. I've I've played in worse. I think the toughest the toughest thing about it was the fact that the match just got moved from like the schedule to get put on. So I was, you know, we were about thirty minutes out of the match before us, like coming back from the rain and starting. It's a three out of five men's match, so it's like you know, pretty safe it's gonna be at least two hours. So I'm under the impression that I'm just chilling in the couch in the locker room. I'm under the impression that there's minimum two and a half hours before I play. And then they just tell me I'm on in 30 minutes. So that's like, it's, it's really tough to mentally prepare myself to go on in 30 minutes when I'm, which I push, I said, no chance. I pushed it to like 45 minutes, but it's still so tough to mentally prepare, uh, to go on in that short of time when I've had it set in my mind that it's going to be minimum two and a half hours. So it was very, I think that was like the toughest thing about it today for me was just like, uh, my whole process, I feel like at least normally is like an hour and a half. So to just like go out on, on, I guess what I thought was short notice was, was tough to mentally be there at the start of the match. Is that why you came out a little bit slow, Taylor? Because you lost that first set six two, and then all of a sudden it was kind of lopsided from there. Yeah, I think I think he played. I think he played really well, like in the beginning of the match. Like I thought he played very well, but yeah, I, I wasn't playing my best. But a lot of that is like like I said, it's I, I I like to kind of get ready, get start getting my mind ready and like prepared about an hour and a half before I play. And like I said, I was just on the couch in the locker room, like watching videos on my phone, like relaxing. And now I'm on in 30 minutes where I thought I was minimum. I'm following a match that hasn't started yet, two and a half hours. So like, yeah, it was just, there's no way for me to like mentally, I guess, like I'm, I'm on the, like I'm on the court. It's, I'm on the court 45 minutes after that. It, it was very tough to just mentally like be ready to be there. Uh, Taylor, last time I saw you was in Munich. Uh, speaking of trying conditions, um, was that a good preparation in a way that you had to play through, I don't know, five uh, degrees Celsius uh, and rain? Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what I was thinking of when I just said that, I mean, conditions weren't too bad. I played through a lot worse. So, yeah, I mean, it is literally nothing compared to compared to Munich. It was that that court in Munich also takes water pretty well. It was absolutely pouring the whole final, and it, it it didn't really become a, I'd say, a problem until it was like a set and a half into the match. It it, it only then it started to get a little bit slippery. But yeah, I mean, really good preparation. I think after you've played played through that, it, it's not going to get any crazier. Hey Taylor, uh, would you mind taking us through what your normal pre-match? process is what sort of things you're doing and maybe give us a little idea of whether you had to like cut some things out or you were just kind of trying to go through everything more quickly than you normally would I got, I got through everything pretty quickly it was more it was definitely more the mental side of it is like I'm mentally checked out for another two hours because or another hour and a half at least because there's no way I'm going to be on before that so like to get myself in the mindset and a lot of people aren't going to understand it. They're going to be like, Oh, 30, 45 minutes. You have plenty of time. Like, like I, I get it. And I, I also understand like the fact that like they want to get my match in. They don't know if I'm going to get in following. I just think I should have way more. No like when there's no way I'm on before two and a half hours, I should probably have more notice than like 45 minutes. But, um, like I said, I, I got through my whole process. It is just like, I'm relaxing for a bit. I like to I like grab rackets, shower, I eat, shower, uh, change. It, it is pretty simple stuff, but it's more just like the mental preparation the whole time. I'm like in the mindset of like, I'm getting ready for the match. I'm going to get ready to go out and play and all this. So it's like, it's more just like I'm in my mind checked out for this, this amount of time because I'm not going to play. And then now all of a sudden I have to, I'm on the court and I'm like, I haven't had that time to like, I'm, I'm ready to go, I guess. Can I just ask with your game, Taylor, what adjustments, if any, you make to the fact when conditions are kind of as heavy as this? Like, do you, do you do different things with your serve, say, or your ground strokes? Yeah, I mean, it's not even, it's, honestly, it's not even like the, the conditions like today. I mean, it's slow, but like even when the sun's out here, it's it's very slow. These These balls are very, very like heavy and... Uh, 
they're soft as well. So when they hit the court, they don't really move. They kind of just like uh, slow down a lot. So it's just slow regardless of the conditions. And I feel like it's been a big change. All the stuff that's kind of been working for me the whole clay court season, playing with different balls, isn't really working. I've been in like loving playing like my forehand really high and heavy. Uh, and now I do that with these balls and the ball kind of just sits there. It's not heavy. It kind of just like sits up for people to attack. So, uh, adjustments I made today were definitely like, I was just trying to step in and flatten the ball way more, especially off my forehand, which I've barely flattened my forehand in like a month and a half. Cause I've just been playing everything spinny and heavy. It's been working great, but yeah, these conditions, these balls, like if you spin the ball and you're not like. I don't know, you don't have like one of the heaviest, like highest RPM balls on tour. It doesn't actually go anywhere. So you kind of just have to like stand closer and hit through way more. I, I feel like I'm definitely having to play, play it a bit less like a clay court and a bit more like a hard court because all the lifting clay court style tennis I've been doing doesn't just doesn't really work for me with these balls. Has that ever happened to you before where you got like such a short notice and did it, Screw up your, did it screw up your eating? I mean, that would be. I got lucky. I ate. I, I I got lucky. I ate pretty early because I was under the impression that the match like might have the match did have a window where it went out for a short second before. Like I think they warmed up. Or I think they walked out there. Then uh, it rained and they went back. So I I ate w then when they were walking out because I was in my mind at that moment preparing, okay, this could be, if it doesn't rain from now on, they just got sent out. I could be on in two hours. So that's when I would eat, eat normally. So I did eat early enough. So it, it was fine. But I guess that's a good example of me kind of prepping for I'm second on, they just went out. So now I'm going to get, get it. And then, then, then they get off the court Then it's not before. So obviously, like I said, I'm not Preparing to play any time within two and a half hours. Hi, Taylor. First of all, congratulations on the victory. Your next opponent is Dusan Lajovic. Your, your last clay court match was in Lyon in 2018. He yeah. won that one, so a lot of has me. changed from, <laughs> from uh, then. I mean, I'm a much better player, which is luck, because he, he beat me so bad in that match, I remember. Um, I, I had no idea back then on how to play uh, clay court tennis or play on a clay court, and that was me playing someone who was naturally a very good clay quarter, and he just, yeah, he he, uh, he killed me. So uh, things, it, it luckily, is, is a long time ago, and, and I'm a much better player now. I still think it's going to be a very, very tough match. He's, he's very good on clay, and... Uh, you know, but we'll see. I, li I like my chances a lot more than I did back then. Did you maybe watch his match last night? It finished at midnight. I did not.